Hello everyone, Busy Gamer Dad back again. Going to be continuing our Steam Next Fest coverage here in February 2024. Thank you so much if you've made it this far into our journey through these demos. There have been some really great ones, some ones that I haven't figured out, some ones that I'm sure you guys could play better than me, some co-op games that have been wonky and fun, and I'm enjoying my time with you guys. If you want to make sure you're up to date with all the rest of the Steam Next Fest for the month of February that we'll be covering, do hit that uh, subscribe button leave a comment let me know if you like that game in particular maybe I'll pick it up and we'll do a long play of it if there is enough praise for that game or enough interest in that game we'll simply say today we're gonna to be taking a look at crypt custodian another steam next fest demo I don't know if the next fest demos are all gonna get taken down but I will have a link for it in our YouTube description should you want to try and see if it's out there for you to pick up at a later date for you to play it and I really hope that developers leave their demos up after steam next fest or if they do take them down and they go back to the lab again and work on the feedback for what uh, was provided on their forums and things like that then that's all the better for them as long as they come back with another demo or if they're getting too close to their runway to release the product they do take that uh, feedback and constructive criticism and uh, implement some better systems or improve upon what they've got so I encourage you as gamers to do that you have a lot more power than you think you do you can take your busy gamer life and you can use that as a form of self-care which is what we do here on the channel so I hope you do enjoy this game as much as you might enjoy any of the other ones that we have played. So, Crypt Custodian, what is this game? It's a Metroidvania, you're a cat who takes care of crypts. That's really what it comes down to. You sweep out the bad guys, you get, to, uh, get some power-ups, you get to other areas that you weren't able to get to before, rinse, repeat, kind of thing like that. And it's done with the uh, cute design aesthetic of you're a cat inside the uh, crypt and you're a big wide-eyed black cat with a broom and a cape. So without any further intro or any further gossip, let us get into our game after our dad joke. What did one plate say to the other? Tonight, dinner's on me. There we are. Alright, so I am going into this playthrough blind, so please forgive me if I fumble around a little bit. Difficulty mode affect boss and enemy reaction times and attack patterns, and also determine time permitted in timed challenges. Difficulty can be adjusted. Oh, I like that. I appreciate that. Uh, we'll just do the normal difficulty, See, seeing as how that's typically how people want your game to be played. I'm not going to scale it up to hardcore, because we're just here to have some fun. We're not here to, you know, just totally beat ourselves senseless with difficulty. We just want to unwind after a busy day. Oh no, we're in the water. Poor kitty. And now we're not. Nope, we are now in the underworld. That was a fun little transition. Okay. We were underwater, now we're in the underworld. Ouch. That's a pretty rough landing. Oh, hello. 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 Oh, you're awake. Pip, my name is Pip, and I will... Oh, I will be your guide to the palace oh nice we get a palace wait what pluto oh nice our cat's name is pluto i like that name that's a fun name for a cat the palace i was literally just outside on the street where am i well the palace is the most beautiful part of the afterlife but you aren't there yet i like the the background fish this is just the entryway it's where all new ghosts first land ghosts so i'm dead oh well yeah sorry i should have let it through that part of course you should have well, don't worry too much about it just yet. We have to get moving. Nearby is Kendra. She is the guardian of the afterlife. You'll have to make your way to her chambers and she will listen to your life story and determine whether or not you can enter the palace. Ooh, all right. Good ghosts go to the palace where they experience never ending bliss and bad ghosts are banished to live in outside the palace for all of eternity. Come on, we should get going. Oh dear, so already we're gonna have to pass this test. I do like the, the design reminds me of like Cult of the Lamb. I don't know if you guys have ever played that game or not, but that, the design aesthetic is definitely like that to me. Uh, is this where the palace is? Nope, that's a, that's a frog. No, I don't know, I don't know. So do I have a run? I have a jump. Okay, that's some, that's some really good animations on the jump. You get a lot of frames for, for animation on that jump. and It's very nice. Uh, let's see here. Oh, nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that way. Go this way. Okay. I do like how they give you an indicator of red. Don't land on it. But it's like you're already committed to the jump. So it's like you can't make that jump. 
you're you're like in the middle of nowhere and you're gonna get your head uh or your body melted by uh something or can't swim essentially uh so i am playing this game with a controller it does say that this best experience for this game is with a controller so what's it like inside the palace oh well it's actually not, i'm not actually sure i've never been inside there you haven't were you bad or something i guess i must have been but ken because kendra said so but instead of banishing me to the outside palace she sentenced me to the eternity oh guide guide for all eternity you see kendra can be very strict but also very fair she makes the rules and she always sticks to them no matter what are we going to be like creating a uh, uh, an anomaly in the system because we choose to not adhere to her rules. We don't want to adhere to her rules. No rules from the man. Now that's why we're going to be the custodian of the of the world or the 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 outside the palace. The broom. We have a broom. That's our weapon of choice. Oh, nice. We get a slam. Yeah. Break all the pots. That is what you do in a game. No matter what anyone tells you, you break all the pots and the pillars. Everything is destructible. Uh, I think I'm going to get in trouble. Though. I should stop. I should stop. Maybe I shouldn't stop? I don't know. It's telling me to attack everything. Now where do I go, though? Like, that was kind of a dead end. Do I need to go back this way? Alright. So what's the link inside the palace? Uh, oh, okay. So that's the same dialogue. I guess we gotta go back the other way. Let's, uh, let's take a look. Let's see here. Maybe we break... Oh, yeah, we do. We go this way. We go this way. I, I wasn't seeing the, the extra platform. Yeah! Nice. Get a little ground slam. The hero slam hero entrance it's got to be murder on your knees and like your ankles uh do i want to go this way can i go this way this does not appear to be a way i can go yet all right cool we'll get ourselves this way nice awesome so you may think that all cats hate water i will tell you right now that is not true tigers love water and tigers will eat you so there's a little bit of knowledge and trivia for you from your dad Make sure that you're uh, not uh, swimming your tigers, because they will eat you. So your gamer dad's trying to make sure you survive out here in the, the world against uh, tigers that swim and will still eat you. All right, now, oh, that moved before I could jump on it. I was worried I was going to not be able to make it. Cool. All right, now we're back to the big entry point. Again, with the frog. I don't know what to do with that. I guess we'll go this way. Because now we can break these statues and pillars over here. Smash, smash, smash. Haven't seen anything out of the pots yet. I wonder what that blue vase is in the top left-hand corner next to our lives. I wonder if that's like our magic meter, maybe our charge meter. Something along those lines. All right, Pip, what do we got for us? Oh, dear. Oh, you made it. Kendra's chamber is right inside here. Just be on your best behavior because you really don't want to get on her bad side. No, I don't. I'm assuming Kendra is the frog. Why would a frog direct a cat's afterlife? I have questions. Oh, how cutie. Hey, cutie. It's so nice to see another fresh face around here. I am the famous Kendra, guardian of the afterlife. It's my job to determine whether you've been good or bad. Oh, and sorry that you died and all that, by the way. That just makes me so sad. I don't know if I believe you. I feel like there's something more nefarious here. This over here, that is the door that leads to the palace. Those allowed in the palace experience never-ending bliss. If you've been good, I'll let you inside. And this is the door outside of the palace. And you really do not want to, to be sent out this door. Alright, fine, fair enough. Well, enough chit-chat. Let's take a look at your life. I don't even remember what my cat had done. Oh, it says that you were born as a stray, and you had a brother and a sister. How? Okay, so cute. And then it seems you were adopted by a nice couple, and they really took good care of you. You love to play and get pets. Wow, I'm having a really good feeling about this one. Pip, can you prepare the palace door for opening? Anyways, let's continue. Oh, there we go. Then we're going to get... And then one night, it seems you escaped from your home, ran onto the street, and... Oh, you poor thing. Well, I guess that settles it then. You are a very good cat, so I have no choice but to let you into the palace. Or, hmm, wait a sec. There seems to be another page. Oh no. Yep, there we are. This says that after you died, you landed here in my palace and you smashed some of my statues. Yep. This is just awful. I'm afraid you have been a very bad cat. 
and as your punishment, you will be banished outside of the palace for eternity. Wait, I didn't mean to do it. I just thought that's what I was supposed to do. Hmm, you thought you were supposed to break my statues? Sorry, that excuse is not going to cut it. I do feel for you, though. If you think this sucks for you, just think about how I feel. That's like the that's like the quintessential parent line. Like, if it doesn't hurt you as much as it hurts me. And I mean, it's true. As being a parent is sometimes rough because you have to make those hard choices for learning for your kids. But that's like such a parent thing to say. I'm the one who has to live with the guilt of sentencing you to eternal torture. This really bums me out. Well, enough wallowing, it's time to go. Oh, and because you created such a mess, I'm also sentencing you to be the afterlife's janitor forever. So hold on to that broom. Oh man, no, at least we got a job. Now it's time to leave. Please exit on the door to your left. Oh, can I go talk to Pip? Maybe Pip can put in a word for me. Sorry you didn't make it into the palace. Really thought you could do it. Well, can I break some more statues then? I don't know. I don't care. I'm on the I'm already on the wrong side of the law, man. You can't keep me down. This is some weird kind of wrapping structure where there's no ramp down, but we still go up these stairs. We then go across this bridge. It's like a like some weird. Oh god, I forget the artist in the '90s who did it. Oh man, but it was always like these uh, three-dimensional pictures that were that made no sense. All right, well, uh, we get some resources at least by beating up the rocks and various other things. Yeah! Nice, okay. I'm gonna, there's some kitty statues out here. Yeah, but why is a frog dictating our afterlife? I have questions. Maybe they, uh, maybe I'm reading too far into it. Uh, oh, almost walked right off the edge there. The controls are really kind of... I don't want to say floaty, but they're cool. They're good. They're, there's definitely a little bit of float there. I don't know if that's um, super intentional or not. Uh, and it will come back to bite me in the butt. But I just want to call that out now. Hey, kitty. In the rain. Sad. Oh. Yeah, I'm sad too. We didn't get eternal happiness. Eternal bliss. Let's get ourselves over here. Get the, the gunk, though. Maybe we can clean up enough and then that's the story arc. We get ourselves into the, the palace that way because we clean up enough and they're so impressed with us that they just can't leave us outside the palace. There's something over here that I can keep from breaking, I guess. All right, cool. I guess we'll go back up this way. Get ourselves where we need to be. Oh, we made it over here. Anything? No, nothing there. All right, fair enough. Wonder what the dirt is that we're picking up. Oh, the kitty. What is this? So this is like a this is like our bonfire equipment. Yeah, this is like our bonfire. Okay, cool. Uh, let's save it because it's always a good idea to save it. And we can't teleport anywhere because this is the first place we've ever really been. Uh, some duck place requires one key to unlock. I don't have that yet, so just kind of wandering around aimlessly. Oh, whoa, whoa! Shooter. Nice. Okay, get that. Whoop. Definitely some fast-paced combat. I like it. I like that a lot. It's very engaging. Uh, we can't go this way yet. We don't have a long enough jump. So let's go back this way. Yeah, this design, uh, the game environment, reminds me a lot of um, Cult of the Lamb, which is great. That's fine. That's a great game to draw some inspiration from. Oh, so we do, we have a dodge roll? No one told me anything about dodge rolls. Not that I needed them. I'm just DPSing my way through. Oh, oh dear. Well, now we're gonna need that dodge roll. Okay, what am I doing? All right, so they're pecking at me. Oh, okay, the little gremlins in a pot of some kind. Okay, enemies here. Ooh, that one looks like a chunky guy. Whoop. A little out of the way of that. Go back this way, and then hit you off the cliff, and then this is like the big one. Oh, you know, these guys are little chonky guys. Whoop. Oh dear, they are shooter guys. They are like little turrets that plop down. Gotcha, okay. Last wave, got it. Nice, did I do a good job? Did I do a thing? I guess I needed to go that way to release this box to jump over. And then, I mean, I'll sweep up this. 
And then I wonder if I lose my resources if I die. That's a that's a very I have I have questions, very important questions about uh, about that. I would love to spend these resources and not lose them. Oh, what are you, you little? Oh, whoa. Okay, you're vicious. Okay, so those have presence that goes a little bit further than I expected. All right, so is there damage on touch? Uh, oh, good. The It snapped me to the platform. I thought I wasn't going to make it. Oh, I took that hit. Obviously. Um, the hit feedback is really good. That was good to let me know that I did take a hit. I thought I wasn't going to be able to make that jump, but it barely made me, uh, had me go that distance. All right, I'm not going to fight that guy because I don't know what I'm gaining from fighting him. But I want to keep going and exploring so we can see more of this world. I do like the... Oh, shoot. You just can't DPS through him. So that's two hits I took for no reason. All right, so these guys are blocking this door. I don't have a choice but to, to keep going through. Let's see, is there any heals anywhere? Like, what, what heals me? What would heal me? Catnip would heal me. That's what would heal me, honestly. Uh, nothing in those statues. Oh, yep, those fall down. Okay. There's, I feel like there's a secret here. I feel like there's a secret there that we just don't have access to yet. Is there a map? Let's see, is there, there is a map. Okay, great. Uh, so there's a warp. I can warp back to that. Uh, do I want to do that? I'm already, I'm almost there. Oh, we got the key. Awesome. Okay, so this was the right way to go. Cool. Oh, squishy blocks. Yeah, that was the right way to go. Cool, I didn't know if that was the right way to go or not. All right, so let's get ourselves back this way real quick because I want to get healed. If that's possible. Does this heal me? I'll save it just in case. And I can go inside here. Maybe this heals me. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if this heals us. The sinner's in. A bird. Okay, so there are different creatures. Marla. Hey, kid. Welcome to the sinner's in. How's it going? I mean, kind of bad, actually. I just died and got sentenced to clean for all eternity. Haven't we all? Well, if it makes you feel any better, here's... It's not actually bad here. If you ask me, us bad ghosts have way more fun. Oh, okay. I'm Marla, by the way. I sell all sorts of things here. So whatever you collect enough garbage, make sure to stop back here and buy some things. And I'll tell you what, as a welcoming gift, I'll even sell you... Oh, first special attack at a massive discount. It's called the Super Sweep. Go on and pick it. All right, cool. With one dirt clod, clob, whatever thing, stone, whatever. Both special attacks and upgrades need to be equipped at the save shrine. All right, cool. There's one just outside when you attack enemies. The vessel at the top. Okay, so that's what that was. And that's telling me that I can then use my special attack by pressing the circle button. Gotcha. Remember to head to the nearest shrine to equip it. You can teleport between shrines, so be sure to come back and visit whenever you collect enough garbage to spend. Nice, awesome. Is this like one of those things, though, that's like Dark Soulsy, where I'm gonna give you enough and you're gonna overpower the world or something like that? I don't know. Are you like the only vendor? Uh, creates a circle around you, hurting enemies. Oh, okay. Uh, I have questions about that, though. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything here? What's this? Major mark. Adds a major mark icon. Item mark. Okay. I don't know what those are about. Let's see here. Uh, oh, that old thing it hasn't worked. It must, I must have lost the disc. But if you find any, bring it back. Oh, cool! There's a little collectible jukebox thing. And then this is for VIPs. Bouncer, sorry, but I can't let you in here. This area is for VIP only. And I've never seen you before, so you can't be that important. Now scram! All right, angry little mouse. Angry little bouncer. All right, let's go try out this power move that we got. Oh, cool! And we can go up. Now, nice. I like it. Uh, let's equip. Special attack. We have activated the special attack. Nice. Let's go find somebody to do a special attack. Hello? Anyone? Actually, if I get like enough coin, yeah, I actually am gonna go back down in here real quick and I'm gonna, we jump off. Are we allowed to jump off? We're not allowed to jump off. I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna spend this 900 on that uh, mark ability. Cause that seems like that would be a really good addition as well. So we'll try those both out for us. So. Now. Nice doing business with you. Remember, in order to upgrade, you need to go to the shrine. Thank you very much for the tip. I love... Oh, hey! 
You! Kendra, hey bestie. So funny seeing you here. Oh, yeah. I was going to say the same. What are you doing here? Don't you live in the palace? I sure do, but I'd like to come out and see how all you bad ghosts live. It keeps me humble. Oh, that's just pretentious. Oh, by the way, I was wanting to talk to you about the whole uh, me dooming you to eternity thing. I just wanted you to know that there are no hard feelings on my end, at least. So I hope... I am I was hoping you could just, like, get over it? All right, yeah, I don't like you anymore. I was okay with you before, but now you're, like, you're pretentious, you're a jerk. Alrighty, off you go. Yeah, you're you're a jerk. I don't think that's, uh... That's what the, uh, Keeper of Eternity should be saying to anybody. Alright, let's see here. Slots required four. So... So if I move it down here, how does that work? Slots available for... Okay, so this takes all four slots for upgrades. Gotcha. And now this is permanently on? Don't mind that upgrade at all. I do not mind that upgrade at all. Alright, so let's get ourselves into, like, maybe a boss battle? That'd be fun. Let's see if we can try and track down a boss for ourselves. Relic Kendra. There's an election system here? Why would there be an election system in the afterlife? Not that I'm complaining. It's an opportunity for us to elect ourselves. Alright, uh, anything over here? Well, there's some stuff over here. Let's see what's out over yonder. This is definitely a Metroidvania. You definitely have to, uh, be exploring. What do you got? Oh, whoa. Oh, I almost walked into that. Okay, cool. So, you're the kind of guy that does the, the prong attacks. Let me take you out. Oop, and then... Okay, when those hit, they... um, They seem to... Okay, let's try our big ability. Nice. That's actually pretty helpful. We took one hit there. I got that guy. Finish that guy, and then go over here. Oh, I tried to jump just a hair too late. I right, got through that. Cool. Not as gracefully as I wanted to, but gracefully enough. Yeah, combat seems pretty fair, honestly. They telegraphed the moves. I knew that guy was going to shoot, and I just didn't get it the heck out of the way. It's my own fault. I want to know if there's any type of healing, though, in the world. Aha, you thought you could get me in the butt. You can't shoot me. In the butt. Alright, cool. Yeah, the spike finished him off. Uh, almost done. I have to go around this way? Yep, okay. So it looks like the key fights are kind of fun. I like that there's, like, locks and you have to go around the room and find them. I do like the abundance of the grime. That's good. That's a good currency for us if that's our, we'll say, inhibiting factor for growth. If, like, uh, uh, Marla is the only way to upgrade stuff. I'm not seeing any heals, though. That's the thing that I would love to know. Like, if this is, like, a, a really arduous game where you get, like, an Estus Flask kind of mechanic or, like, a really limited resource in healing. Because that certainly seems what it's like for now. All right, let's get ourselves over here. Finish that guy. Uh, before I go any further, I'm going to go get this one. Oh, there's two now. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go over here and fight this guy. I got that one. Ooh. Yeah, sniping me off screen? That's cheating. Big old cheater. Finish you off that way. Trying to get me off the screen. Show you what's four and five. Maybe even a six. And our meter's pretty full up anyways. Oh, cool, another... Yep, okay, cool. Let's get this started. Come at me. What do you got? I do like these little boss uh, fights because, or little uh, monster closets, monster platforms, they give you a, a taste of what the enemies are going to be like in the zone that you're in. Um, so that's a good way for the player to learn. And what do you got? Oh, get away. There's this one off there. Oh, good. I like the cleave. That's good. I like that we have a pretty wide cleave. Oh, these little jerks. I was afraid of that. And then finish that. I'm glad that there's no damage on touch. I do like that there's no damage on touch. Uh, am I gonna die if I go in here? For the content, let's see what happens. I know we have low health, but I don't have a choice, I don't think, because it's either that or teleport back. Pearl's Shrine. What be you, Pearl? Well, there's a, there's a teleporter here. Oh no. 
Oh, hey. Pip. Hey, sorry I scared you. I was just in the rafters sweeping up some grime. Oh, that's not Pip. This whole cavern is, is a shrine dedicated to Pearl, the most beautiful frog to ever live. It's a bit. Em I'm a bit embarrassed to see it get so dirty, so I'm trying to clean this whole place up. Oh, you're a janitor too? No, I'm just a frog. But Kendra did sentence me to clean up the afterlife for all of eternity. She actually sentences everyone to the same fate, although most other ghosts just stop cleaning after a while. Well, anyway, my name is Pebble. Okay, so that's not Pip, it's Pebble. And I'm around here cleaning for a bit. I'll see you around. All right, cool. Awesome. Let's uh, let's save our game at least. There, and then that gives us the heal. Cool, awesome. Nice. I do like that if that is the only way of healing, I do like that, but it's also going to be really fickle for the player if they need to leave or something. But it looks like you can teleport to... Um, oh, you... You pincer. Nice. Um, it's going to be really fickle for the player if they have to leave or something like that. And, you know, they, they want to save. They have to teleport back. But at the same time, that's all good. That's what a Metroidvania is about. You got to explore. You got to be out here. Boots on the ground looking for things. Finding new ways to navigate the realms that you're in once you get upgrades. And I can't do that yet. So I got to find a way to get over there. Uh, I got to find some utility, some upgrade mechanic. Some double jump, some dash, maybe. Some float. Alright, let's get ourselves over here. Let's check up north. Nope, that's a big old lock. Let's, uh, let's try this way. Anybody down here? No. What's going up over on here? Frogs. Yeah, frogs seem to rule the afterlife. That's the thing. I mean, we did see one other creature, but the frogs seem to be in charge. All fine and good, I suppose. What are you? Are you like a... Oh, you're like a power-up thing. Okay. That's cool. Kind of weird looking, but all good, man. You be kooky crazy, man. All right, so... Is that going to make it? Oh, it hits it back. And then goes off into the ether. Okay, so if I go... Mm, nope, I didn't want to do that, did I? No, I... Okay, good. Okay, so once the door's open, it stays open. That's good. And then... If I hit this up... Does that help? And that opened the gate. Okay, cool. What are you? Ditch effort makes attacks 30% stronger on low health. Oh, okay, and we can upgrade that. Nice. I do like our, our spinning thorns ability for right now, though. All right, let's get this uh, monster platform taken care of. Ooh, B. Okay. Finish those guys. Oh, came in swinging. All right, fair enough. Fine, fine, fine. Whoa. They're bombs and they're shooters. All right, got to move quick. And if you are not on top of them... You're on the bottom. Alright, that's not enough there. Finish this guy. There. Oh, they do an they do an AoE attack. Okay. Cool. There, okay. Nice. Alright. Cool. Good stuff. We handled it. We had it handled. Uh doesn't yeah, let's go this way. Let's go this way. We're running out of time and I want to get through as much of this dungeon it seems oh, as possible as I take the extra hit. I'll just, I'll cheese you. I don't care. There. Fine. I won't cheese you. Alright. So, I'll just hit you. Oh, nope. There's a, there's a wall there. Oh, so you gotta angle this thing. Is that gonna make it? That'll make it. That'll make it. It's like playing pool. You gotta know your angles if you wanna play pool. Alright, did that do anything for me? Besides open a way around, I guess? I don't know. I don't think I needed to really do that. Because this seems to be the same path. Ew. Did you just, like, fart that at me? I, I wanted to jump, and I didn't jump in time. 
Yeah, I feel like if I die, all my, um... Yep, let's test it out right now. Let's see what goes away when we die. If everything goes away or if we, um, go back to the shrine with our, our, our gubbins. Doesn't tell me. Let's take a teleport to Pearl, or to, um... To Meryl, Mar Marla, and see. Oh, there's Pebble. No, it doesn't go away. So there's really not uh, too bad of a penalty system. All right, cool. All right, well, this was Busy Gamer Dad, continuing our coverage for the Steam Next Fest in February. Hopefully, you guys like the content. I was showing you guys Custodian Keeper. I think this is a really charming game. It's a Metroidvania platforming game. The fighting is really fun. I like the uh, story already where we're sentenced to clean for the afterlife and we're going to get some new upgrades and hopefully find out what's going on and what's going, what the, we'll get to the bottom of this, uh, how Pearl here, or not Pearl, I'm sorry, how uh, pl this Kendra person says that everyone needs to be a cleaner and gets kicked out uh, into outside the palace. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more content from me. And I will have a link for this game, at least the demo for it, in the YouTube description if you want to pick it up for yourselves. Later.